Ah, Energy. The Energy, the yeah, yeah. Free Energy? Yes, of course. Ja, ja die freie Energie, wir müssen, äh, es ist ein Generator, ein Generator ist das, da gibst du einfach Strom rein, ja, minimal, und der verstärkt die Quelle, also gibst jetzt 1 kW rein, 20 kommen raus. Also das 20-fache produziert der. Ja. Und du kannst das dann auch wieder, die eine, die sind ein KW mit Solar machen oder Wind oder egal was. Ne? Yes, you have to, um, the machine has the ability to multiply the energy that you give into, let's say you put one kilowatt of energy into the machine and the machine has the ability to multiply that by the factor of 20. Meaning, you give one kilowatt in, you get 20 kilowatt out. And now we come to the question where you get the one kilowatt that you put in, for example, where do you get it from? Here you can use, for example, we have used solar modules to do so, free energy, clean energy, which you can also set up at any place which is not even connected to an electrical grid. For example, that's, what, what, that's what I'm talking, we're so, talking about. Yes. If, you are, if you are in the jungle, for example, you have sun in the jungle. Enough, <laughs> I'm afraid enough. to go because I think I'm a monkey's uncle. <laughs> But, uh, but you can take your water bottle back, back <laughs> after that. Water bottle. I think that's why he took the water bottle from me because I'm his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> but let's say you're not connected to an ele uh, electrical grid. You can just set up the machine over there. You can take uh, electricity, let's say, from solar modules, mm -hmm. solar panels, which you just set up and then you can, let's say, have one kilowatt. And with this machine, you can multiply the one kilowatt into 20 kilowatts. Permanently, so there's no need to pay any 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 bill. No. no need to pay pay any and we're tied into the grid. We're tied into the grid. Am I right? Of course. We're tied into the grid, and what we don't use, we sell back to the grid, and they make. And now that's the question. You know, if you, if you have a village which is not connected to any grid, then but you can't sell it back. But of course, but if you have the ability, to but, generate if, but, but the village doesn't have any grid, then how does it work in the village? Yeah, it depends. For example. Um, <laughs> it's a sun. It's a sun. <laughs> That's when you need. Yeah, you know, in the. Uh, es spricht ja darüber, wie es verteilt wird. Wenn du sozusagen eine Maschine hast für ein ganzes Haus. Ja, es gibt ja nicht für jede Hütte eine Maschine. Ja, ja, wie normal Verteiler auch. Ja, ja. Or would it be smart to uh, maybe establish a grid? I mean, I don't know what the exact infrastructure, electrical infrastructure is. If you don't have any electrical infrastructure, then of course you have only one source. Well, at least you have then you have then one source of energy. I have never grid. seen I have never seen a place in, in, in Indonesia without a grid, <coughs> without any electricity. I haven't. Okay. But I, I'm assuming, and which is a mistake to assume, but I'm, I'm hearing that there are places that don't have water and don't have electricity. And if they don't have water, water and they don't have electricity, I don't know how they're living. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. It doesn't well, make sense to me. What I know of many places, even in the Arab countries, no matter Saudi Arabia or wherever, you have a huge lack of energy. Uh -huh. And with this technology, you know, even in places in big countries like Saudi Arabia, you have quarters in big cities who have a lack of electricity of three to four gigawatt. And the problem is with this technology, you have the opportunity to multiply that even in regions, probably not only the Arab region, also Indonesia, Asian countries, where you have that lack of energy. So, first question is, you know, it, it's a question of how, yeah, how well established the infrastructure is at that point. Let's say, um, if you have a certain electrical grid, all these houses, these are huge apartment houses, for example, in the, at, the, at the example in, in, in Saudi Arabia, but they are all electrical grid. You can plug, uh, plug in uh, any kind of lamps uh, into the plugs, but the point is you don't have enough energy. And with this technology, you have the ability to generate energy, free energy, clean energy, and you are not focused and you are not depending anymore on the big electric Uh, 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 and it's possible again yeah. if you connect the, if they connect in their grid, right? Yeah. And you're not using all your energy, they will pur purchase what you're not using, and they sell it back to their people. Yes. So that they utilize it and they make money too. Yeah, absolutely. It makes sense, and uh, it, it, it makes the person, person who uh, helps the person who's bought the the machine, it helps them pay for the machine as well. Eventually, it pays for the machine. Yeah. 
then eventually he's getting everything for nothing. Yeah, and it's absolutely different than you, for example, talk about, let's say, a revenue of a, a photovoltaic park or something, because the difference here is that you use let's say one solar module or two or 20 or 100 solar modules. But the interesting thing is that you have the, multiply, the multiplication factor of 20. And with this multiplication factor, you don't talk about the question how much energy is needed and how much can be sold or delivered somewhere. It's free energy anyway. Yeah. You know, There's not a question of revenues <laughs> or something yeah, like I that. Yeah? You have free energy anyway. So there is no much the question of is there a, the opportunity for, 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 for making business out of that? Because that's, that's not the issue anymore. But some people might think that, but not the people in the hills. The people, the, some people who will purchase it will, be, will have enough energy as it is. They'll have it, but they're looking to make an extra payday. And, you know, and they could be, buy three or four machines, for example, and put them in different places, right? Yeah. And they could, yeah. and they, they, they could, the people could use them and get the free energy. And then what's on top of it? Sell back to the electric company. Yeah. An electric company would give them a paycheck, basically. <coughs> yeah, but if you think... You know what I'm thinking? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Because I'm thinking that the big guys will probably buy a lot of them, that, that would screw up the little guy, in a way. Probably. So um, we have to be careful, very careful. Yeah, the interesting thing is, but uh, comparing, let's say, to... A but it won't happen in Indonesia, because the president and the, the sultan and others won't allow it. Okay. It won't happen there. It might happen in the United States because it seems like that's been the history of the United States. The big guy eating up all the, the real deals that are coming through, and then they, and then they, then they use them and they make a ton of money, and the little guy makes nothing. When in the beginning it was supposed to happen for the little guy. Okay. You know the little guy always has been cut out. True. In this case, we can make sure about that too because we're in control of the product. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. Yeah. Especially with you, you know. You're, those two guns you've got are huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's all at the moment just a financial issue. Walter's got that shotgun he's ready to use. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's only... Uh, the question is not the technologies already. And we have showed them that this is not, let's say, an idea on paper, which might be nice to be... This is produced. This is produced. This is, this is, uh, this is all the practical tests have been done, and they were all successful. So from now on, it's just a question it's a of scaling. This. It's sort of up to us with the bunker. It's sort of up to us to open it, get the money, and make this thing happen, and get the get the approvals from mm -hmm. Indonesia, so that we can make this thing fly with the clinics, with everything from the healing computers to the cancer machines where you just put your hand on them and you know immediately if you have cancer or not. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I'd be there five times a day. <laughs> I mean, After each cigarette, you I'm, smoke. I don't smoke. Never. Never. And I don't drink anymore, so that's a good thing too. Mm -hmm. But you know, with all the shit they're putting in our skies with the chemtrails and everything else, You've got to wonder in the pollution that we've got. You've got to wonder what, what what's, what's going to happen to us and how it's going to happen. So it would be nice to have that. Let's say once a week. Okay. Once a week, you find out you're okay. But if you have the healing computer and you got the clinic and you're doing that, you're going to find out anyway. Plus, you're going to find out everything else about your body. Now, I have a friend who has a protein problem. Okay, and we've talked about this before. And the, we believe that the healing computer will take care of that protein problem. Am I correct? Yeah, according to that, yeah. Because we know that. other people with protein with protein problems mm -hmm. who have won because of the healing computer, just so you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know, so I mean, this, this should be a win-win mm -hmm. where my friend gets better for, by utilizing the... So I'll, I'll bring the healing computer and put him on it mm -hmm. and let him, I don't know how many times it's going to take for him to get better, but he'll, he should put some weight back on and he should, mm -hmm. he should be able to, I say, eat protein or drink protein or whatever, mm -hmm. or take it in. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that'll beef him up again, mm -hmm. make him healthy. Yeah. He looked like he was a tough guy at one time. I'm very smart. Yeah, he's, he is very smart. <laughs> he's very, very smart. Yeah. But he was looked, like one time he looked pretty beefed up, he pretty, ha pretty healthy, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. something happened, and it, and, it, and it seems like it hurt him, mm -hmm. and he lost his weight. Well, let's get this thing straightened mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of work to do. Yep. 
and uh, once we finish it up, mm-hmm. or once we I, I get there, and we do the things we have to do, uh, we should be off and running. I mean, I've already told everybody we'll bring fifty. Uh, we'll have we'll, we'll have twenty five computers one place and twenty five another, and uh, that'll be the beginning. We'll take care of the clinic and uh, that we're supposed mm-hmm. to we're talking about in, in, in Shikabumi, in uh, Indonesia, up top, and it'll be a nice place because it's on the ocean, and it's uh, not a place where not many where many people actually go to, but it's it's got a lot of people up there, but it could be a good place for a resort, and uh, for for the for the for the for the people that need help, mm-hmm. you know, so. Yeah. I believe that, that that's that's really good. This is really good with the hands. The the free energy is important for the for the people in in the hills and in the cities, the the, the ghettos and so on who don't have it. They have the they have the grid there. Mm-hmm. They just don't have it. Mm-hmm. And we should also worry about the homeless. And I think I can handle the homeless part because I know somebody who makes homes like that mm-hmm. okay. for the homeless, and it doesn't cost anything. And again, it comes from Peru, mm-hmm. and it comes from the jungle area because of the wood. But remember, in the Indonesia has wood, mm-hmm. a lot of wood. No. Yeah, it has a lot of wood. And but rather than them selling it out to the United States, the teaks and everything, mm-hmm. they can build homes for almost nothing. Okay. And we could put this thing together there too, with the grid, with the energy, with everything else. And mm-hmm. we're off and running. Yeah. We're helping. But then you become a matter. Then you become... But you become a point, you know, because you're taking care mm-hmm. of all these things, and there's many mm-hmm. other things, mm-hmm. and you've got more things than this. I already mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is just, this is nothing compared to what you've got. Yeah. And we can't talk at all because the people are going to say, "Jesus, you got everything. Why do you need us?" <laughs> well, we need you. We need you because we need to build. Yes. We need to put somebody yeah. in those homes. We need yeah. to put yeah. somebody using those things. <clears throat> and if we don't have you, we mm-hmm. can't help you. And this is what this whole thing's been about for a long time. And uh, there's some battles coming up, and don't think we don't know that. I, I don't know in particular. There's some battles coming up, and there's some things we're going to do. Danielle, is a, Danielle will handle a lot of it because he, he, he understands legalese. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got the Bretton Woods Agreement and stuff. We have to take the legs out from underneath it so they no longer have it. Mm-hmm. If they don't have it, they don't have the IMF, the BIS, mm-hmm. or the World Bank. And we can do that because we're going to have enough money to do it, and we're going to have enough money to shut them down someday soon. It's their turn. We're on our way. We're coming. We're on our way. And when we come, we don't stop. we got the best offensive line in the game, and we got running backs you haven't seen yet. <laughs> okay? So, I wish you all well right now, and thank you again to the Asian, the Asian Insider. Thank you. And thank everybody else for, for participating with us for throughout the years because we're now coming to, a, to an end of this situation or a beginning of a new situation, which is going to help you all. And let's hope everything works as it should so we can move forward. I wish you well. Have a great day, Walter. Yeah. You want to okay. say bye-bye? You, bye. <laughs> bye. He's, he's as cold as ice. I speak yes. no English. <laughs> bye, <laughs> bye, 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 bye. 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 <laughs> Want to say bye-bye? Okay. Okay. Of course. Everybody? It was a pleasure to be with you, yes. my friend. My pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure, Walter, mm-hmm. again, as always. Okay. And mm-hmm. it's good to have you people listening to about some of the things that will happen because the financing will be there and the, the product is already there and it's going to be in our hands to get this thing done. It all is. So we'll talk to you later. Yeah. Wishing okay. you well. One dollar. And yeah. bye bye. Bye. Happy New Year. Bye. <laughs> oh, by bye. the way, okay. I, I am in good health now. I'm, I am I'm wor- I am worse bastard now than ever. Okay. So I wish you well. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Oh.